So, when we are going and looking at a periodic table, the periodic table basically tells us about the structure of different atoms. Realistically, the only ones that you will come into contact with are probably the first 20. So the periodic table tells us how many protons there are, how many electrons there are, and how many neutrons there are. So a few or three key things to remember. So firstly, the atomic or the proton number equals the number of protons. Right, so that's going to be the bottom number. Second, the mass number is protons plus neutrons. So that is the total mass of the atom. So, if we want to work out the number of neutrons, you work that out by the mass number minus the atomic number. So that's how we go and we work out the number of neutrons. Fourthly, number of protons equals number of electrons, right? So if we go and look, then we can go and see if we've got five protons, then we're going to have five electrons. Right. If we go then and use this periodic table to go and work out some of the structures, we start off with helium. Right, helium, you see there, it's got two, so it must have two protons. because it's got a 2 there. It's got a mass of 4. So to work out the number of neutrons, is the mass number, which is 4, minus the number of protons, which is 2. So it's got to have 2 neutrons. And going back, the number of electrons that orbit it is the same as the number of uh, protons. So it's got to have two electrons if we go on and we look at lithium lithium has a mass number of seven and an atomic number of three so it's got to have three protons and if we want to work out the number of neutrons it's going to be seven minus three so it's got to have four Neutrons, right? They won't arrange themselves quite like that. Right, and if we know, if it's got three protons, it's also going to have three electrons. And for everyone you do, it works out just like that.